go crazy when he sees her. If she wins, maybe you'll get a new theater. And a, and, a, and, a, and a new theater? And an opening like this. Ed Martin's Greater Gem Theater. Millions of electric lights. Thousands of people clamoring to get into the theater. Thousands of dollars pouring into the box office. And Sophie Smalls in big electric lights. He that well. You really mean that, Mr. Schmalz? I certainly do. <laughs> well, I'll see the key Come on, Ed. Come on, Sophie. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Come on. By all means, look out for the streetcars. <laughs> hey, hello there. Ah, shall I say a few words? I shall try to prevail upon Mr. Marlowe to say something. Hello, Hollywood. This is Big Boy Marlowe. Uh, you'll have to do without me for a few days. The whole town has turned out to see my picture. At Ed Martin's Gem Theater. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, Charlie. Hello, Harold. Hello, Mary. Hello, Doug. Uh, say a few words to Doug. Yeah. Uh, hello, Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, say, Mr. Marlowe, meet my friend and banker, Mr. Smalt. Well, how do you do, Mr. Smith? Uh, 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 pronounce Smalt. Smalt. Stars may come and stars may go, but my favorite star is Jack Marlowe. Here. <laughs> I'm in the contest tonight. Oh, is that so? Tomorrow, will you give me your autograph? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm in the contest, too. Well, you ought to be. Thanks, and thanks for the flowers. Ah, my flowers! Uh, yeah. Hey, folks, in a few times, each lamp. the most proudest moment of my life, the presentation of the first 100% talkie and the personal appearance of its famous star, Mr. Jack Marlowe. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marlowe, these are the young ladies in the contest. Isn't he romantic? Isn't he grand? Gee, he's swell. Uh, ladies, this is Mr. Marlowe who will pick the winner that goes to Hollywood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me tell you about Mr. Marlowe, who's honoring with his presence here tonight the Gem Theater, the first theater to serve ice water at the matinee. <laughs> first, uh, first to install an electric piano. <laughs> first. First in the hearts of his countrymen. First in the hearts of his countrymen. <laughs> first with the talking pictures. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, I was a pioneer in this business. But it seems that, uh, well, <laughs> the show business just seemed to run in our family. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, oh, and my sister went with a fella whose father owned a horse that used to be in a circus. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, oh, the day of opportunity is still knocking. For instance, uh, the lot next door is for sale. And it's a great place for a soda pop. <laughs> and I think the lot belongs to my friend, Mr. Smaltz. <laughs> Another thing that I would get... Uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I am Mr. Morrow. Welcome him to Azusa. <laughs> Folks, uh, I want to thank you. Uh, now that uh, Mr. Martin has told you all about me, there is little <laughs> left for me to say. Uh, but uh, I would much prefer having my picture speak for itself. But I want to thank you for this beautiful, wonderful reception you have tended me in this fair city of... Uh, Pomona. Uh, uh, Pomona. Uh, pr uh, pronounced Azusa. Uh, <laughs> uh, the fair city of Azusa. On with the show. Papa and I always sit here. Th these are our regular seats. Yes, I know that. But you see, I want Mr. Marlowe to sit down here. Well, I know, but these are our seats. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll go upstairs. It's all right. No, no, no it's all right. Well, you'll we'll move in the back. Hold on, I'll move in the back and let me sit next to Mr. Marlowe. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, you move over, I want Mr. Marlowe to sit here, and I want to sit there, see? I won't move, I want to sit next to Mr. Marlowe. Move over, I tell you. Move over, it's okay, move over. Sit down. Take a seat, Mr. Marlowe. Thank you. Uh, all right, Jake, Jake, put her on, put her... Hey, Jake, uh, hello, Jake. Jake, Jake, hello, Jake. Uh, oh, where is he, where... Oh, hello, Jay. Jay. Jay, Jay. Yeah. Well, where the deuce was you? Oh. I say goodbye to Rose. What? You love her too? Yes. Rose! Ah, oh, Rose! Rose, I reckon it looks like goodbye. Yes, Jim. Desmond? I'm a giving you your freedom and the most precious thing in my life, the heart of Rose. Rose. But remember, I'm one hell of a putty head and you answer to me, Jim Brady. That was one of the most touching scenes of my career. That's good. <laughs> I like that. 
<laughs> what do you have to do to warm them up? Oh, they're enjoying themselves, but they don't laugh much here. Yeah. I don't... know how I can go on without you. Look, Papa. The horse talks too. Oh, I hope she'll be happy. <laughs> Stop. I spoke those words, not the horse. Hey, what are you trying to do to my picture? It's all right. I'll fix it, Mr. Marlowe. I'll fix it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is regrettable. In the big cities where I always play, we never have such accidents. I dropped a record in the third and fourth reel. What will I do? What will you do? What will I do? But I've never been snuck yet. Perhaps. It would be interesting for you to know what happened in the third and fourth reels of my picture. Picture a way out there, a lonely campfire. Pinto and me surrounded by a pack of snarling wolves. Two hundred or more are waiting for us to go to sleep. Suddenly, Pinto picked up his ears and told me that Rose, Rose, was in danger. You see, Papa, the horse does talk. <laughs> <laughs> you annoy me. He's mad. I didn't know he was jealous of that horse. <laughs> Where was I? Pinto was talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it fixed. I got it fixed. Search yourself. What an open. Stick him up. Don't shoot. No. Hiding behind a woman's skirt, eh? You don't dare pull that trigger. You ain't a bad man. You're just yaller. Give me that gun. I won't. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. It's Jim Brady uh, asking you. Put him on and wait out there. Isn't he cool and brave? That was an actual happening from my life. He's probably the fellow that was handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> if she's still in the contest, she's wasting her time. I don't care. My papa said I was going to win anyway. Well, this is one time that your papa is wrong. I don't care who she is. <laughs> Fail me. Failure, why, gal? When the perfume fails the rosebud, when the honey fails the bee, when the ocean becomes a desert, that's when I'll fail thee. I write all my own poetry. I believe that. Thanks. <laughs> Those Broadway actors are all right for the tea and toast dramas. But put them out there in the plains. 
with the horses, cactus, coyotes, bad men and rattlesnakes. And then see how they'll stack up. You forgot the wolves. Yes, and the wolves, too. <laughs> Papa, ain't it great seeing two shows at once? <laughs> Yon mountain blushes a rosy pink when kissed by the setting sun. But when I kiss you, my desert rose, it's a million kisses in one. You got the horse talking again? Oh, who cares? <laughs> now I'm going away, 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 now I'm going away. 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 I'm doing the best I can with this Azusa equipment. Now I'm going away. What kind of an operator are you? I'm a better operator than you are an actor. Well, then I must be lousy. You said it. I'm going away. Now I'm going away. Now I'm going away. Oh, Mr. Marlowe, just a minute. Mr. Marlowe, folks, folks, Mr. Marlowe, you haven't picked the winner. Well, pick it yourself. You brought her here. I'm picking a train for home. Get from my show. I, uh, you gotta... Why did I ever leave Hollywood? I'll bite. Why? <laughs> because you'll never play another picture again of mine in this theater. Uh, ah, yeah. oh, raspberries. Oh, oh, Folks, and United Attraction next Friday, we'll have a country store night. We'll, we'll have a country store. All right, Jake. Show's over. Put out the light. Jake, you got a good drink of whiskey? Oh, I need something. <laughs>